actually what happened was uh, Whitney's son's birthday was coming up so he made Q, his son Q, this little tiny mini board and we both looked at it and was like wow that thing's cool and uh, everybody that saw it was saying the same thing it was just this really beautiful very simple lines very simple shape but it was it was cool it was handmade so the next thing we did was made a, a bigger board and we're like, oh, wow that's really cool and again everybody w responded well to that so we both started just in our spare time putting together skateboards and they just got better and better the look of them got better and better and at some point Pro it's probably about a year ago we both realized wait a minute this this is what we want to be doing our other jobs were slipping it's like should we build those cabinets yeah it's a lot of money but they're just boxes <laughs> i don't want to build them let's build skateboards let's build skateboards what do you want to do today let's build skateboards maybe we should start work on that other no let's build skateboards and then it was a year of we got a lot of skateboards so uh we got a lot of we got all these other jobs done too which has been great um but this is it it's a very labor-intensive process. You know, there obviously, when you look at the boards, you can see that there's a lot of time and effort and, and you know, heart and soul poured into them. The process of building a board, it's kind of like making batches of wine. Um, it depends what kind of wood's in the shop at the time. So when we um, will basically close the doors and turn as much wood into the right dimension as we can. Once we make a board and we cut out this part, the two pieces that land on the ground end up being the mount that holds it up. One thing that struck me while making these boards is how mistakes lead to innovation. So it's, it, at, as we're building these things, I, I would I'd have an idea of what I wanted to achieve and then the board would blow up, pieces of hardwood flying around the room and I'm like, oh, I chipped this part out. So you have to figure out what to do with that. So that might lead to a new way of putting in strips to hide the mistake that I just made. And when, when you open the board up, to, you know, when you split it open and, and look at it, you're like, oh, wow, that's, that's amazing. I think you could pretty much define Vermont and Vermont ingenuity through just looking at these. I mean, it's taking what you have and what's available to you and making it work. And if you don't have that as a Vermonter, you're just not a Vermonter. <laughs> you know? Basically, come into work and build the coolest thing I can think of that day. So far, that's what I'm doing right now. If I can make it where I actually get paid consistently to do that, that would be my dream. You see a piece of wood and it's like, I gotta make that into a board. It's using this recycled or upcycled material, uh, you know, whatever drop cut hits the floor. If we're, if we're building cherry cabinets one week, next week I guarantee you'll see some cherry skateboards coming out. Uh, so, you know, the real advent of it was just um, really a present for, for Witt's son and both of us realizing that we had something that was a really cool look and when we rode them, couldn't believe how, how well they wrote.